Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm about to blow some of your minds today with this. This is called Real Head Motion. I'm going to show you how to get it. Uh, I haven't watched any tutorials on it. Well, I did, but I watched them like uh, four, three months, four months ago when I used to use this Real Head Motion stuff. And now that I'm getting back into this setup, I want to get into it again. Uh, but the, I haven't looked into it recently to see if there's any tutorials, so I hope I'm not like ripping any English versions off. When I had to download this and install it, I had to listen to a bunch of Mexican people and a bunch of Swedish people. Uh, and I can't understand Spanish. And I definitely uh, can't understand Swedish. So hopefully I can help you out with uh, the English version here. Because I had no idea what they were talking about. Uh, but I did find it through a bunch of videos. I had to watch like three, four Spanish videos. Thankfully, one of them recorded everything he did kind of like this but let's go so i'm gonna have a link right here the real head motion link uh and then you're gonna want to download this and you're gonna want to download that and i just put them both on my desktop okay so here they are right here when you open up this you're gonna want to go console path and you're gonna want to go wherever you installed freepy okay so for me it's in my program files 86 you want to click FreePy and open that up, FreePy console, okay? This right here, the script path, uh, this is that. Oh, stop, stop, stop. So you want to go wherever you installed that. For me, it's the desktop and click that, okay? And you have that set up so far. Now let's go over to look options. I'm using my G29. So what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate device. Push all axes to calibrate them. So you want to push your gas, brake, clutch. Turn my wheel to the left. Turn my wheel to the right. You know, get everything, get everything nice and calibrated up. Look left. Put that wheel to the left. Look right. Put that wheel to the right. This needs to, not USB button 13. See, this is kind of where I get confused. USB button 13. Oh, keep hitting my mic, dude. I'm sorry. That's going to be annoying. We need to get one of these to say plus and one of these to say minus. So hopefully we can do that at some point. Let's try calibrating devices again. I'm just messing with the wheel. Can we do that here? There we go. So look left is USB access minus. Then we need to get USB access plus on this one if we can. There we go. So what I did there is I just turned it all the way to the right and clicked it and turned it all the way to the left and click it. That's all you really have to do here. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the angle, I guess. Um, so let's go pitch offset. Ooh, I don't know if we should touch that. Can't remember what all these settings really do. But we're going to look left, right, angle. Isn't that the six? Oh, we can mess with these settings when we open up a seto. So we'll just close out of. We'll just keep that open. Uh, let's go open up a seto. It's going to be real loud when I first open it up. Get ready for it. Has to launch to do its thing. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. But this is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little mod. This allows you to basically play kind of like you have a VR headset without having to own a VR headset. If you can catch my drift a little bit, uh, not really a VR headset. What other? There's a lot of this. You, ha it allows you to look around in your car. We'll just leave it at that. Like you know, when you drive a real car, you don't just stare straight all the time like you do in a setto. So, let's go to main menu. I'm gonna head over to your settings. Uh, general force 32 bit okay always force 32 bit probably skip the intro then we're gonna go into drive I picked a Mazda we're gonna go on this map I'm just gonna load it up we're gonna see if these settings have anything anything to them don't know if they will or not just go into first person it only works in first person 
so it's looking like this does nothing for the camera right now so let's go ahead and go ahead or what go ahead and go ahead let's go ahead and go over here and mess with this stuff a little bit more so let's turn this to like 10 look right angle right yeah maybe like let's try 20 see if that does anything oh my gosh there's so many a set of corsa logos which one's the right one hitting my mic again oh see there we go see so now when you turn the steering wheel your head turns with the car kind of so let's go ahead and turn that to 50. let's get real ambitious here let's take that for a lap see what happens That's the wheel straight. Hold on, I need to fix something here. That's the wheel straight. What's going on here? Look left and right angle. Let's bring that back forward a little bit. I think we got to go down here and um, mess with this. Pitch angle and uh, roll angle stuff. But yeah, you mess with this, steer, look ahead, steer, look ahead. Yeah, that's what you want to keep up. And then I think you can shift that a little bit more. Get like 14. And see how your guy turns his head. That's way too high. <laughs> but you get, you get kind of the point here. Let's try to drift like this for a second. Yeah, I can't drift like that. That's too much uh, head angle. Let's go back in, fix that roll filter. Let's take that down to like 30. I kind of like the roll though, to be honest. Okay, what's that at? That's still pretty much the same thing. That is so cool though, how that works. Like I said, you can mess around for a little bit. I'm trying to just get some good settings before I leave you here. Uh, let's go take that down. I think that's what it is. Steer looking ahead should be max. Steer looking ahead, roll. Come on, let's take that down a little bit. The roll is crazy right now. That roll at the end there is pretty high. Oh yeah, dude, that looks so dope though. When you just get that sideways. All right, let's try to figure out this roll stuff more. Oh, uh, look left, right angle. So what happens when we do this? Roll filter, let's turn that all the way down. Let's turn the pitch filter all the way down. What's happening with that? Okay, now let's try this. There we go. That's that's smooth settings right there. Your guy just looks every single turn he goes around. Then when you throw it heavy to the right or whatever, it kind of does look all the way around the shoulder. But like I said, you can fix the settings. Play around with it. But that is, that just makes the set of courses so much better to drift in, in my opinion. Alright. Still, that is throwing the. Let's go ahead and see that's throwing the angle really hard at the end there. Steer looking ahead, roll. I feel like that's what we should do, right? Oh no. 
we do this. Still looking ahead. So you kind of want to keep this around like 30, 36. Yeah, I feel like that's a... All right, let's test this out. See, when you mess around with the settings for a second, you learn all this shit right away. Oh, it's not that hard to figure out, to be honest. Oh, yeah. That is worth so much, and it's for free. Like I said, it's almost just like it's almost just like being able to look with a VR headset. It's gonna make my setup videos so much nicer too. And this is a Mazda RX-7. If any of you looking for this car, I don't have the link to the car, but it's a nice car. Miss that turn up there. All right, we'll go through this little section here, and we'll uh, go see if we can figure out how to save these settings. Just not seeing where it'd be at. I never did that. I always just came and switched it back. But, anyways, I'm hoping this is gonna help a lot of you. Uh, I hope there's no English version out now that I've done this. And uh, yeah, fucking just get out there and fucking do it, dude. It's it's probably one of the best mods for this game to be honest. And uh, yeah, love you all. Catch you in the next fucking video, Dougs.